So now that we've got our two separate solutions already mixed together, and they've had some time to settle, so they should be fully dissolved, we're gonna go ahead and start to work on mixing two of them together to create a light sensitive emulsion, and then start to coat the paper. Now, for measuring, uh, at school, actually, most of the time I'll use this one, which is actually just like a scooper from like a protein milkshake sort of a thing. It doesn't really matter how much you're measuring because what we're going to be doing is equal parts. So as long as I have a line and I know where I'm measuring, I just need the same amount of A as I have as B. And when those mix together, then I have my emulsion. We've already, you know, done the correct amount of the chemicals based on the 100 milliliters. So now it's just equal parts. So something like this is easy. I just made a little tape line at the bottom and I use that to line up. So this way I can just, you know, kind of pour a little bit in here at a time. I'm just looking for it to just barely hit the bottom of that black tape line out there is good. And again, if it's a little bit off, you know, plus or minus, it's going to be okay. So there's our first one. And I'm just going to pour that directly into our um, mixing container. And because I'm going to be adding, the, you know, this directly into here, I'm not going to wash this out. I'm just going to go ahead and pour my next chemical directly into there. They're not intermixing between the two jars, so it's going to be fine. And this way I don't have to, you know, add extra water, which might dilute our solution a little bit go. So right to the bottom of the line. So again, once these two are, are mixed together, then they're going to be sensitive to light. But again, it's only sensitive to ultraviolet light. So as we're here inside the garage studio, it's not really going to get exposed. It would need seven minutes of direct sunlight for it to really start to get exposed to light. So the little bit of ambient light that's coming through in here isn't going to be enough to affect what we're doing. I, I don't like to go all the way to the edges of the paper. Um, that way I can pick up the paper and move it around. So I like to give myself, you know, a little bit like maybe almost three quarters of an inch or so, just a little bit of a guide uh, of about where I want to coat the emulsion. And it just helps give you a little bit of an idea of like that's the general area where the emulsion is going to be so that I don't forget because it's easy to get kind of overzealous and paint all over the place and all of a sudden you know you're all the way to the edge um, and I think it's nice to have a little bit of a white border as we go to um, apply the emulsion directly onto it we're going to be using the brush and again in the beginning I just like to kind of you know put the brush in there and really kind of saturate the brush but see how it's kind of you can see it's dripping off of there so we don't want the emulsion to be oversaturated so what I like to do is just gently kind of press against the side here that'll push out any of the extra emulsion um, so that the brush is no longer you know dripping it's got plenty of emulsion on there we can always add more but we don't want too much emulsion on the paper um, we don't want puddles they take a really long time to dry and also they're going to sometimes even wash off which seems kind of counterintuitive but that's kind of what happens so because i know i have got this you know this white border around the outsides i'm just going to use two fingers to kind of hold it in place and i like to just start off in one direction and so we're just making nice long even strokes from one side to the other And then we're going to go in the opposite direction as well. This will help kind of even it back out. And if any little spots got missed, then it's going to help kind of coat those to make sure that we're not having any areas that don't have any emulsion on them. And if there are little areas where it looks like there's maybe a little extra emulsion, you know, we can go ahead and pull those off at this point. Make sure I cover those corners just a little bit. That'll help them disappear into the blue. And so you can see that once the emulsion's been mixed together, it kind of creates almost like this lime green sort of a color to the print. And it's going to stay that color for now. Um, once we take it outside and it exposes to light, it's going to start shifting color. And then eventually once it goes in the water, it's going to turn blue. So 
at this point, I'm just going to let this sit for about 10 minutes or so. Let the kind of emulsion kind of uh, dry. If you're trying to see if it if it's ready, um, typically it has like a little bit of a shine to it as it's wet, uh, and it'll look a little more dull once it's dry. Also, if you kind of feel the back of it, it will no longer feel cool as it's wet. It feels kind of cool to the touch. So we'll check back in a couple of minutes.